Wicked Perfect Alright, so today I am going to make um, Instant Pot Mexican Rice. Really simple, easy. Okay, so um, my aunt actually gave me this book. Thank you, Aunt Nancy, if you're watching, um, for my birthday. And I am actually going to do the rice out of here. It's not Mexican rice, but I'm doing my own um, seasoning. So I'm just doing it to what the rice um, recipe calls for. So Okay, so the recipe actually calls for the Instant Pot to do at least two cups of rice. I guess it won't cook as well if you do less. So at least do two cups when you're doing rice in your Instant Pot. We are actually doing four cups. We're actually doubling it because we are going to a party tonight and we're bringing more because we have a lot of people, so. And what I'm doing here is, I just realized this, but I read online that if you rinse the rice, and a lot of you might know this, I just learned this today, that it gets fluffier, I guess, in the cooking process. You're just rinsing off more of the starch off the white rice. I'm not sure if it pertains to other rice or if it's just white rice with the two cup, you know, at least in there. Um, so you might want to look that up if um, you're doing brown rice or some other kind. So now we're just rinsing the rice off. You basically just want the water to run clear underneath. I will pick it up here in a second, but I'm just kind of rinsing it off. I have done this recipe one other time and it turned out perfectly. So I thought I'd videotape it this time. And I'm sure you don't have to do this. This is just something that I wanted to do, see if it would actually improve the fluffiness of the rice. And when I did it, it did seem better. So, but you know, you don't have to, to each his own. So I'm gonna spray the inside of my Instant Pot. Last time I did the rice, it did stick, but I think this will help it not stick as much. This is just from Costco. Hello. When you're cooking white rice in the Instant Pot, you're gonna wanna do one cup um, rice to one cup water. So just basically one cup for one cup. So if you're gonna do two cups, you do two cups water, two cups rice. It's a little different than doing it, I think, on the stove. I can't remember. <laughs> yes, but I think it is a little less water you use in the Instant Pot. All right, so now I'm gonna put the rice inside the water. mix it around a little bit so I'm doing four cups of rice but I'm doing three tablespoons of this yumminess this is the only thing I use when I make my Mexican rice it's just really simple but um, one of my friends told me to use it and that's how she makes her rice and it's amazing I'm gonna do three <laughs> making a mess onion powder I'm gonna do a tablespoon of onion powder It does get a little clumpy, and if the clumps aren't all gone, that's okay. I realize that um, when it cooks, it's okay, and then once you stir it up after it's done cooking, it does evenly mix itself out in the rice, so. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil. It helps the rice kind of not stick together and stuff, so I'll put that in next. I don't tend to add anything else in my rice. I know some people add like peppers or onions or anything like that because I have kids and they're super picky and I have a husband that doesn't like rice very much, but he likes this rice. So <laughs> I just leave it simple, but you can add whatever you want to it. You just have to saute them before um, you do the rice in the pot. The reason I took it out of the pot is just a little easier to mix, not having to like lean over into the pot. And also another important thing that it says in that recipe book that I showed you is it says you should shake it like this just so the rice is kind of like, I guess, even. So I'm gonna put it back in. And then we're gonna close the lid. We're gonna put it on sealing. Make sure your thing is on sealing. Yes, he's a dark. 
<laughs> and then you're gonna press rice and you're gonna let it go. So my 12 minutes is up cooking and now we are waiting for the knob to go down and it needs to sit in here for 10 minutes and you are going to leave it on the ceiling. You're not gonna go to the venting. And then after 10 minutes here, you will want to release that if there is any other pressure that is still in there, that way it will get out before you open it and not burn your face off. All right, so it's gone a little bit longer, which is fine. The pressure um, knob still hasn't gone down, so I'm gonna um, press this over to vent it. And then once that goes down, I can open. All right, pressure is gone, and I'm gonna open this little guy. Okay. Looks good inside, ooh, steamy, watch it. All right, I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, so just mixing it up. Spinning because I can't hold it with one hand. Still steaming. Seems really fluffy. Looks really good. Taste test it. But look at that. Looks really good. Look at perfect. So I just tasted it and it's really good. I probably could have done four tablespoons of the um, bouillon, the tomato um, flavoring stuff, but it does have flavor. It's not too strong. It's it's great. I like a lot of flavor in my rice, but I know some other people don't, and this like it's subtle. It's really good. So it works really well. Here it is, ready to go to our friend's house. Now I just gotta cover it with foil and then we will enjoy.